Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Azure Infrastructure Update. It's the 26th of December, and if you celebrate it, hopefully you had a really good Christmas and still have some downtime uh, until 2022 starts. As always, uh, please go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit that bell icon to get notified of new content. There isn't many updates this week, as we would expect. Most people are relaxing for the holidays, but there were a couple. So as always, I do have the chapters down the bottom of the video, but there's really not many. I do want to say that Santa brought me what I wanted for Christmas, and uh, yeah, we hit 90,000 subscribers. So a huge thank you as always for the continued support. Um, as many of you know, kind of, I, I would love to have my own personal selfish goal. I want to hit 100,000 and get that silver play button. So getting pretty close now. Hopefully March 2022 should hit that. So really do appreciate everyone's continued support. So it was awesome to get that kind of just before Christmas. I will do a new Ask Me Anything. I'm doing it on the 5th of January. I'm gonna do it at a different time so people in other time zones can participate. I kind of got some feedback. Other time zones would like to take part in one. So I'm gonna do this one at 5 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time so that other people participate. New videos. I did a deep dive into IPv6. It's about an hour and a half just about IPv6. And the last 15 minutes is about, well, what does that mean for Azure? So it's really about learning IPv6. Then once you understand it, the Azure side is actually pretty easy. And then I looked at Azure AD Join, Azure AD Login through RDP, and actually Azure AD Login using the Azure extension for both Windows Client and Windows Server. So I'm gonna explain how all of that works. On to the new updates, so just super quick. Storage for Azure Files Premium. So remember with Premium, it's a provision capacity. We don't pay for what we're using, we provision a certain size share. And then with that capacity also comes a scaling amount of IOPS and throughput. What has happened is now there's new performance as part of that for both SMB and NFS. Now that provision capacity at the minimum bar is 3000 IOPS up from the 400 IOPS that was the previous baseline. And additionally, now even the smallest shares can burst up to 10,000 IOPS up from the old um, values there. Obviously the large disk can go up to 100,000. So it talks about the new calculations. And really, if we just look at some examples, it's easier to see. So now the smallest 100 gigabytes, I now get 3,100 baseline and I can burst up to 10,000 IOPS. And then we kind of see, well, as we get bigger, obviously goes all the way up to 100,000 IOPS with um, the burst of the same. Additionally, another change was made in that with that provisioned amount of IOPS, it used to be a 40-60 split between writes and reads. So even with 10 gigabytes per second, I could only do four of actual write. Now it can be 100% read or write. And there's also reserved instances for premium and also just for standard hot and cool as well. So those are all available. Moving on, miscellaneous, ARM metrics, so the Azure Resource Manager, that control plane actually has some basic metrics available now just as part of Azure Monitor. I can see actual requests. I can also see um, latency. This would also let me see if there's any throttling happening. Maybe I'm putting too many requests through to ARM at any one time. So if we quickly go and look at the portal for a second, these are easy to see. If I just actually go and look at Azure Monitor and go to metrics, and I'll just scope it at a particular sub. Oh, I meant to do metrics. <laughs> let me just try that again. Spoke it up at a particular sub. My resource type, what we now actually see is Azure Resource Manager. So if I select Azure Resource Manager and hit apply, then from the metrics, notice I can actually see all well, traffic, actual requests going through, but I can also see the latency. So what's the latency I'm hitting as part of my requests? 
So now just if I'm curious about what's happening through that Azure Resource Manager, there are metrics to actually go and see that. And then finally, really just an awareness. Make sure your domain controllers are patched with at least kind of the patch Tuesday from November. There is an Active Directory takeover tool out there that enables me to elevate my privileges up to that of a domain admin. It's based on two CVEs that have been widely known about now, CVE 2021 42287 and 42278. Both of them together, let me do this elevation. And both of those are addressed in the November 21 uh, patch Tuesday update. So make sure you've got that on your domain controllers um, so your AD is safe. And that's it. I said it was quick. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, again, make sure you relax a little bit and take care.